morning. Well, no surprise, we have rain again for Dawsaws Blandering. We've got a couple of riders who are unwell and have had to pull out, so we've got a little team of four. It'll be interesting to see how Dawsaws Blandering goes for Wiggle High Five. I think it's great for the younger riders to have an opportunity and to not have a leader in the race means that we can race with a little bit of a different tactics and it's going to be a bit of an experiment today for the team and uh, hopefully things change for Wiggle High Five and uh, hopefully we have some success. Eli, Yonda Mine and at Groot-Brittannië, Chris Garner, of zij is erbij voor de proef. second climb but uh, I can't follow a second climb attack yeah so I can uh, get a escape group yeah it's my mistake but I try to catch up the escape but uh, yeah I couldn't do it the race today towards was Lander and was absolutely crazy it was just crash fest like one crash after the other bang 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 Fortunately, all of our riders stayed out of the uh, the carnage and the mess. They must have been riding very well at the front because uh, they weren't involved in the crashes. Unfortunately, we lost uh, Grace Garner quite early. She had a puncture and uh, was unable to make it back to the peloton. But uh, we had our other riders there in the main peloton. When the split went of the strongest seven riders in the race, they weren't quite uh, having the punch, but they certainly suffered in the cold. A lot of athletes did, but uh, the athletes that we had here from Wiggle High Five are not quite accustomed to this really cold weather just yet, so uh, really, really, really struggled. Uh, now they're just uh, getting changed in the bus, but freezing cold. So uh, it was an eventful day back in the car in the convoys. Uh, for Wiggle High Five, I say the girls rode really well. Um, condition is quite good. Obviously we're coming into Tour of Flanders uh, on the weekend so we'll see how they go.